you know, I, I love to work, okay? I really love to work. I love the challenge. I love the puzzle. I love the, you know, trying to figure out a solution to something. And I love the triumph of when it actually works. We're a strategic communications company. We do web development, graphic design, video production, and communications consulting. And we do specialize in um, healthcare communications. You know, we all like to feel like we're in control. <laughs> we like to feel like we're captains of our own destiny. And we all know that we're not. You know, life is gonna throw you curveballs. It's going to throw you obstacles. And it's gonna throw you opportunities. And you need to keep your eyes open to those opportunities and be willing to pick those up and run with them. Because sometimes the things you least expect can lead to the most exciting things in your life that you would never have expected. I worked at Cardis from um, 1979 through 1987. Uh, started as a production assistant fetching coffee and donuts for the crew and um, became a writer producer when all the writers quit one day. And um, learned a great deal about the video production business from the ground up at that point. Jim Cardis, the owner of Cardis Video, was a big influence uh, on my career and my, my business today. I watched an incredible entrepreneur take a basic video production company and turn it into a multi-million dollar business in the eight years I was there. And that started me thinking, I would like to own my own company. My first client right out the gate was Ross Products Division of Abbott Labs, they're now Abbott Nutrition. And that was where we started really getting into the healthcare communication side of things. We have an explosion of problems in the healthcare industry because the people in the industry really don't know how to communicate. And they keep thinking if they do a better brochure, it's gonna do the job, you know? So that really has led me to um, starting a second company, which is Healthcare Integrity Group. And Healthcare Integrity Group is built on a lot of the theory that PMG Communications has, e has evolved to. Um, flash forward about three years, Healthcare Integrity Group has just attracted investment funding, and uh, we will be starting pilot projects in, uh, within the next month uh, that will be testing our new product. We've evolved over the past 21 years quite a bit. And the reason why we now call ourselves a strategic communications company is because we're more focused on what are you trying to say, who are you trying to say it to, with what intended result. And we can help you answer those three questions and get to a solution that will provide that intended result. As a business owner, it's very difficult to trust anybody with this baby you have built, which is your business. Yet it is so important if you're ever going to grow that you need to let it grow beyond you. And the other thing I've often found is a lot of times the really good ideas that come up out of the business don't necessarily come from me. I might have a idea of saying we need to go here. I have no idea how to get there. My team does and I need to trust them and I need to trust a lot of their um, instincts. And I also need to not um, cut off their heads if they make a mistake because that's almost as important, letting them fail, as um, seeing them succeed. You have to have integrity in your business. You have to do what you, you, have to do what you say you, you're going to do. And you have to treat people right. And by people, I mean your clients, absolutely, but your employees as well. And anybody, your vendors that you do business with, the subcontractors that you hire. You need to treat people correctly. I started getting involved with um, a group called the U.S. Women's Chamber of Commerce. That evolved into WELD, which is Women for Economic and Leadership Development. I was the founding president of that. And that sparked this recognition in me. If I was going to get involved in something, I wanted to do something that would help women, that would um, start to get women starting to think about the fact that you know, you don't have to have a choice. It's not like you're either a mother or you work, or you're either a wife or you, you know, have a career. Women need a seat at the table. 
And it's not because it's a woman's issue. Um, and we say this all the time, this is not a woman's issue. This is an economic development issue. If half the population does not have a seat at the table or um, a say in how things are being run, that's a problem. There's so much more you can do if you dare to dream a little bigger and start to challenge yourself and get yourself out of your own comfort zone. Um, there's so much more you can do. I would never have thought I'd be doing what I'm doing today 10 years ago. And it wouldn't have been possible if I didn't start thinking, well, I could try that. Let's give that a shot. And in that process, you learn. So, you know, one of the legacies I would say is I would like women to start thinking bigger, okay? And don't be afraid of that big dream because we're capable of so much more than we, we let ourselves do.